Hey guys, Carl here. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Bright Tangerine Casbah Ottman shoulder rig. Let's get into it. Top, Bright Tangerine did send this to me. I don't get to keep it. No money is traded hands. I do have to send this back at the end of this review if I choose not to purchase it, which I definitely want to purchase it. Because after using this on about five jobs now in the short period of time I've had it, I've fallen in love with it. It, uh, it makes sense, it's very versatile. There's a lot, of, uh, a lot of really cool elements to this thing. In this video, I'll talk about what comes in the kit as well as any positives or negatives that I may have. I will say that the comfort, the handle comfort, the pad comfort, and the fit and finish, it's uh, something that you would expect from Bright Tangerine, which is almost, dare I say, perfection. First thing I'm gonna talk about is the Casbah Ottman base. It is bud compatible, which is gonna be a little bit wider than your standard RE dovetail. A lot lower profile, which is nice, and we'll get into that here in a second. And then you have two RE rosettes on either side, so you could mount your, hand, your handles on there if you don't wanna use the uh, actual bridge that it comes with, which I'll show. It has a 15 millimeter rod mount in the front to attach that bridge with the handles on it as well as the ability to have a 15 millimeter rod mount in the back that it comes with. Uh, so you can mount, you know, like a battery or something like that on the back of this if you wanted to. This has the uh, wide pad, wide flatter pad that is adjustable. So you have adjustability, you know, forward or side to side, as well as forward and backwards. With the VCT kit on there, you don't get a lot of adjustability forwards and backwards. So if you did take the VCT kit off and if you didn't use that, you can adjust the forward and backward quite a bit, which is awesome. I have ran it both ways, and I'll get into the VCT situation here in a second, and you have ample amount of side adjustment. You can go pretty far out there if you really needed to. If you had a you know, camera rig that was very wide, you could definitely mount this up there and uh, have no problem fitting that in there which is cool. So then that just locks in place with one single lever. It's very easy just to pop it in, pop it out, and adjust it. So like I was saying, this is a VCT kit. So it just hops on, hops off of your tripod. I have never ran VCT, to be honest with you, before this whole review came to me. And this is actually a rental plate, and I've used it for about two weeks now. And it's a game changer, I love it. It's actually really nice to use and I'm planning on getting one if I keep this kit uh, because it's so easy just to hop on and hop off of your tripod or set up your camera you know, on the tripod and then pull it off real fast and have that plate there so if you need to rest or if you wanna do something, it's easy just to use that. And it just seems very bulletproof. It's from Lens Rentals and it's been beaten to crap and it still works flawlessly. I, I'm a big fan of it so far and I think I will uh, use VCT in the future if I end up keeping this kit, which I want to. Next thing it comes with is the Bright Tangerine drumsticks. These are sterling titanium. I think these are the nine, eight, eight, nine inches. Oh, nine inches, yep. So these are the nine inch version and they are bulletproof. Never had a problem with these rods. I have, I have a couple sets of these rods for my, my standard camera kit. I love them. They're so good. So that is where you would mount your handle, your, your handle bridge, which we'll talk about right now before we get into the, the top mount, uh, the bud plate and everything. So this is the 15 millimeter uh, LWS 19 millimeter hand grip bridge right here, uh, as well as two of the Casbah handles out here. Makes it nice, this bridge. is pretty cool because you can adjust it on the fly almost one-handed. And then if you really wanted to get rid of the bridge and use you know, more of a, a tighter configuration, you could just mount these on the actual uh, base as well. So if you didn't want to use the bridge and you have a much more you know, compact configuration there if you really wanted to mount it like that. If you were in tight confined areas or if you had a smaller camera set up, you could easily do that. I would say, for me specifically, I would like a little bit of adjustment out 
they do make adapters, uh, you know, one inch, two inch, half inch. They make a bunch of different adapters that you could put on here to kind of extend those out a little bit to get that width out there and get that a little bit wider of a feel, a little more stability uh, for that, which is nice. And I would adjust these down. I'll put that back on there for now. So the bridge is pretty cool just because it slides on with the 15 millimeter rods right there. And then you just tighten that orange knob and it, it locks in place. This isn't moving at all. You're gonna hurt yourself before you can get that to move. And then you can put those handles back on. You have an endless adjustability with these. You can fold them in, out, up, down, sideways. I mean, you can go as far as you wanna go with those. Next thing we'll talk about is a universal bud plate. So this is, adds 20 millimeters to your rig, so it's super low profile. Um, I have mine set up, there's no rules to this thing, right? But I have mine set up with the RE dovetail, uh, standard dovetail, just because I like to use my left field to make it a little bit taller, as well as be able to take it on and off this configuration and put it on a tripod or a, um, uh, uh, a gimbal or something like that. Just makes it very universal and adjustable, which I'm a huge fan of. You can go from you know shoulder to tripod to gimbal to whatever else you you, de you, you have out there to mount it to. Uh, if you're doing dock work and you need to hop off of your tripod, VCT. If you need to hop off the actual you know thing completely, you need to go handheld for something, you take it off the shoulder rig, very simple to do so. So we'll mount that on there like so, which is pretty nice. And then in talking about that, you have 180 millimeters of adjustability when it comes to your uh, universal bud plate on top. So it doesn't really matter what kind of camera you have. You could have a small little you know, A7S III, which I'm shooting with right now, or you could have your FX6, you know, pretty big little configuration here. You could have this stripped down or you could have it just like this and it's easy to just mount on there and be done with it. So as you can see with the left field situation, just like that, it's locked in place, it's not going anywhere. The kit is complete. Uh, you have yourself a full shoulder rig, just like that, which is awesome. And then you can take this off your VCT plate, just like that, throw it on your shoulder, and Bob's your uncle, you're ready to go. Ready to roll. Big fan, honestly. So now that we've talked about the kit configuration and what comes in the kit, we'll talk about the use cases. I've used this on five different jobs now uh, in the short time I've had it. Every job has been a, a mix of walk and talk or stand still and talk to camera. Some B-roll with it as well. I found that in every situation, I've been able to use the configuration you see right here for the most part. And then if I haven't, I just take it off of it and I use you know, just handheld or something like that. It's super comfortable, very easy to adjust. You have one-handed adjustability here with almost everything. If you need to adjust just one handle at a time, you can easily do that. If you need to adjust the forward, backward adjustment of the pad or side to side, you can do that also. One-handed, you just have a little lever here that you can just pull forward and backward. You know, if I pull that lever, now I can adjust it. And then I can go back, grab that lever, pull it forward, it's locked in place, no more movement. I have been running lately in EVF just because I really like that feel of sitting there with an EVF. This isn't, I need to adjust this a little bit, but you can see, you know, just uh, shooting like this, you have three points of contact, it's very stable. If I'm doing walk and talks, or if I'm doing, you know, stand in one place for a long period of time, it adds a whole other level of stability that you don't necessarily get with your easy rig or other forms of um, just kits. Having that, dual handle out there is really nice. Record, stop recording, just like that. You can adjust focus if you have your hand off there like that. So it's very universal in the feel and fit and finish that it, uh, that it gives you. They really think things out and they've done it another time here. They've knocked it out of the park with this configuration. The handles and the pad are both made out of their own proprietary material. They're a comfortable textured resin surface. 
Uh, that's the way they're described. And I will say that the comfort that they preach is true. They are very comfortable. And I really like the way that they feel. They're heat dissipating and they're a very open structure. And that is also accurate. Uh, it's something that they say in their literature, but is true. They are very open. They have a lot of air that flows through them. I've never had a sweaty handle in my time of using uh, this kit specifically, but I do have a handle that I usually use up here for my handheld situation, uh, my easy rig setup, and I've never noticed it, my hands getting sweaty or slippery on these. Um, and then in my time using this, the pad has not, you know, had any kind of sweat build up or heat to my neck or discomfort at all. No rashes, nothing like that, that I've, I have experienced in the past with other pads for shoulder. And it allows you to really sit on there nice and secure and not have any movement uh, besides being able to adjust it forward, backward, side to side. Uh, there's no movement on the pad. It's very secure and very comfortable. There are aluminum and stainless steel construction on the handles. You have area rosettes all the way around, being able to adjust these in a plethora of ways. So if you want this a, sp a specific way, all you have to do is just unscrew these little knobs easy to do one-handed like I demonstrated before, and they're locked in place. Once they're locked in place, they're, they're not moving. There's no, there's no movement there at all. So I highly recommend uh, checking those out. Even if you don't get the whole kit, these handles are a game changer and they mount onto any kind of uh, area rosette that you may have. So just as a handle, I love these things. And that same material, like I said before, is in the pad, and it just makes a really nice, comfortable situation in the field. talk about any negatives that I may have on this thing, it would have to be the VCT situation with not being able to adjust the plate back and forth. I get it, I understand that. Uh, I wish that was a little bit more of like a quick release plate or something like that for the VCT instead of two screws to mount it into it. Um, I would love to see, you know, some sort of a quick release or a slide on situation that you could slide this on there and then slide it off if you needed to get more adjustability front and backwards instead of having to take out two screws, but it's not a make or break, you know, by any means. I run this thing all the way up because I'm running a smaller camera. Um, but I could see that if you're running a bigger camera and you want that to be back further and you still wanted to have that VCT, that that might be a little bit of a, a, a downside um, to, this, to this kit. But it's definitely not a make or break for me. So talk about price. As of making this video, the price of this entire kit is $1,979. It's expensive. That would be one of the only downsides to this kit is the price of it. But I will say it's justifiable because this kit is made so well, there's so much adjustment to it. There's so much universal, you know, things you can do with it as far as being able to set it up the way I have it set up with this left field on there, or if you want to use just the uh, universal bud plate, or if you, you know, just want to mount the handles to the actual base, it makes it nice. If you already have the handles, like if you have the original setup where you have just a little pad that goes off the left field and the handle kit, you could easily just buy the base and set it up in the same configuration, which is awesome. Like you don't have to spend the total amount unless you're looking to buy a whole nother kit. You can piece this together and make your own, which is nice. Just the base itself is 1,088. That is for the wide two axis, forward, backwards, uh, forward, backward, side to side. And then if you wanted the narrow, it's 989 for the narrow kit. And that narrow kit is a narrow pad that is not really adjustable. And you can go a little bit forward and backwards because I think the pad slides on to that same base, but it's not super adjustable side to side or forward backward for that matter. If you buy a bit just the base by itself uh, without anything else, it's like 400 and something bucks. US, this is all US pricing. But if you wanna go for the big kit, the big kit's the way to go in my eyes, just because if you don't have any of this stuff already and you need to get into a shoulder rig uh, that's gonna last you a long time, and you know, you're know you able to grow with, this will be the kit to get. The price of it, obviously at that $1,979 mark, it's hard to swallow. But like I've said in the past with other Bright Tangerine products, you get what you pay for. And if you buy a Bright Tangerine piece of equipment, you are guaranteed that it's gonna last you the long haul. They build things that are to the RE standard in my head, 
Uh, if you've ever used anything already before, you know that it's built to take a beating and to continue on through that beating. So if you have something that gets just destroyed, as far as it gets scratched up and beat up, that doesn't matter because these things are still gonna function the way they're supposed to, even with all of that dirt, grime, grum, whatever happens to it. You know, I've taken this thing on a couple jobs that are out in the dust, sorry, Bright Tangerine, and everything still slides, everything still moves. There's no, you know, nothing that has stopped working. Again, short period of time but nothing that has stopped working or collected a lot of dust. There's no oil or anything like that on this where, where it slides, it's very, it's frictionless. But if you have a lot of dirt and dust in there, it's still gonna be able to move just fine. I can guarantee it. I definitely think that in the long run, when you buy a product that's this expensive, you're getting what you pay for, I'll say it one more time, and you're getting a product that's gonna last you probably forever, potentially for your entire career. You might wear something out, but all this is mechanical, you can easily replace something. So, yeah. So I don't really have anything else to say about this kit. It's a solid product that I highly recommend checking out if you're in the market for a new shoulder rig or if you want a better way to handhold your current kit that you're using now or if you're looking to upgrade. Um, you can't go wrong with the Bright Tangerine Casbah Ottman shoulder rig configuration. For a plethora of different cameras, if you're using something like an FX6 down to a FX3, A7S3, you could build this thing out any way you want to, all the way up to your Reds and Aries and whatever else you may have out there. It's a solid build that I highly recommend checking out. If you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment down below. I'd love to answer them. If you are looking to get one of these, go to you know Bright Tangerine's website, they have them on there, as well as you know, B&H, Adorama, places like that. You can also rent it. Lens Rentals has one of these. I mean, they probably have a couple of them, but I know they have them available. Um, might have to wait your turn to get it, but they have them there. I highly recommend renting one, seeing if you like it, um, seeing if it fits your needs, and then you know, getting one from those other places if you're looking for it. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up button if you like what you saw. Make sure to leave a comment down below, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Cheers.